So we all have these unconscious agreements that we live our lives by. And they remain unconscious in the back of our minds and they dictate every experience that we have on this planet, every interaction we have with another human, everything we think, we feel, we allow ourselves to create, to make, to go after is lived by these agreements. A set of agreements that we have made along the way. And this comes from our mommy and our daddy, our education system, our religion, whatever. People constantly telling us, you know, you got an A grade in school, so you are an A student. You're a good student. So now you've made that agreement that getting an A makes, makes me a good student and anything other than that is bad. And then you also make agreements around love and relationships. If someone, you know, is disrespectful towards you, you think that's just what you deserve. So you make an agreement around that's how I allow people to treat me. And so we all have these agreements that we've made throughout our life. And then we live our life by them. And then we keep attracting these same experiences, these same relationships, these same opportunities over and over again, wondering what the hell am I doing wrong? It's because we have these agreements that are unconscious. And so when we take these unconscious agreements, we make them conscious, we bring them to the light, we can look at them and be like, okay, what is this agreement that I have around worth, around relationships, around money, around my ability to receive, or my ability to, you know, lose weight or eat clean or my ability to do what I want or to live the life that I desire. What is this agreement that I have that is holding me back from not fulfilling, from not achieving, from not feeling this way? And then when you do that, you create awareness that do I still want to continue to live, believe, give life to this agreement? Or do I want to write a new agreement that feels more aligned, more empowering, and more in support of what my truth is. And so this is an invitation for you to ask yourself, what are the agreements that I have made around all these various areas of my life, relationships, family, money, job, career, worth, you know, receiving, creativity, whatever. What are these agreements that I have made? And are they making me feel good? It is so important to ask yourself the question, are they making me feel good? Are these agreements making me feel good? Remember, anything that doesn't make you feel good is not the truth. Because the truth will always, always feel good. Your truth will always feel good. So if you are living in agreement that is not your truth, it won't feel good. And if you're living in agreement that is your truth, it will feel good. So now is an opportunity for you to ask yourself, what agreements do I have? And then how am I letting this hold me back? And bring them to the light, bring them to the surface so they no longer remain unconscious, they become conscious. And now you have the power to do something with them, to let them go, to delete them, and to write a new agreement. So I have most of my clients do this. When I see someone who's struggling with something around relationships, money, finances, worth, value, whatever, I have them write, what is my old agreement? The agreement that I've lived in my life by up until this point. Write it all out, then burn it. And now write the new agreement. What is the new agreement, the blueprint that I will live my life by this day moving forward? And come back to this agreement as often as you need to. Read it aloud to yourself every single day. You know, I agree to feel worthy no matter what. I realize feeling worthy is my choice. Feeling powerful is my choice. Feeling empowered is my choice. Feeling good enough is my choice. And no one outside of me can make me feel this way unless I give them permission to. There is that new agreement and you read it and you contemplate it and you feel it. Feel what this new agreement feels like. Go into meditation with the feeling of this new agreement. Do whatever you need to do to let it become the new programming that you will live your life. And then you will realize that your experiences will change. Your life will change to reflect back this new agreement that you have made. 
and you'll be filtering your life through this new agreement and not this old agreement that wasn't serving you, that wasn't feeling good, that wasn't your truth. So I invite you to do this. And as you do this, tell me in the comments, what is one unconscious agreement that you can just press delete on, completely delete it, move it aside, and what is a new agreement you can make for yourself that feels better, that is more empowering, that is aligned to your truth. And remember, only you hold the power to live your own story. Stay open.